Hi guys, we are here today at the Godox booth which is distributed here in Singapore by Brilliant Photo Group. We have uh, Brian here today who is Hi. a specialist for some of the products. What kind of new products do you have? Right, so currently one of our newest offerings is the MG1200 by Color by Godox. Uh, this is the, one of the uh, attachments that we have, it's the projection adapter. So some of the basic specs that we have with the uh, 1200 series is that it has a max uh, wattage output of uh, 1400. This allows it to have a very consistent wattage output across any of the temperature ranges. So, you know, it can go all the way from uh, 2700 Kelvin all the way up to, I think, about 67, uh, 6700 Kelvin. Yep. So, very consistent overhead with the wattage, allows for a very solid output of 78,800 lux of great, brightness. Great, great. Maybe you can emphasize a bit more on the modifiers that you sure. have available. So, this is one of the modifiers that we have uh, attached on right now. This is the 36. Uh, 36 degree projection adapter. What this allows is it makes it, makes it easier for you to project light across a much further distance. In a standard setting, you know, you will lose a lot of your lux rating as the further you go away from the subject. This allows you to get, in, on paper, 78,000 uh, 78, at 3 meters at minimum. So basically, any sort of production, any sort of high ceiling sort of stuff, you have a lot more flexibility in your mounting sort of capabilities and a lot more um, just overall power to work with which is great, always very really good. As I can see that you, you know you project the yeah, uh, Godox right. logo. So how do you actually do that? Yeah, so this actually uses a uh, very standardized mounting system. It is basically a... You can see here, this is basically just your standardized uh, slide-in sort of template. Any sort of template acceptable as long as it's within the size duration. So you can have it like, for example, externally manufactured and then you can just put it inside as well. Uh, You'll be able to project it as such. Okay, yep. okay, great. So great. The, the, yep. the item is also rated for, uh, I think, IP54 waterproofing. So, you know, even if you do get some sort of outdoor usage as well, yeah, no so issue rain, whatsoever. No issue lah. Exactly, so exactly. much can lah, one time lah. <laughs> one time lah. Yeah, one time only lah. You put inside the water, then after that you take out no more. That's what all the manufacturers want. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 right. Yeah, so do you have the pricing and availability? Uh, uh, yes, I think this particular unit right now is 2400 at this particular sale as well. The actual pricing as well will be you know, up to some of the uh, resellers, I guess. Is that so 2400 is mm -hmm. Singapore dollars? Uh? Singapore dollars, right? At, okay. at this particular show right now, this is the pricing that we have. Yeah. Ah. And we're currently offering a 20% off. Yeah. So 2004 is before or after discount? After discount. Ah, after discount. Right, right, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But not buy from them, buy from Aero Photo. Uh. That's you got right. Any inquiry, that's you right. buy from Yeah, so that's why, that's why I was like, <laughs> when you asked me about the prices, I was like, mm, yeah, maybe it's best to I can quiet them. That's right, that's uh -huh. right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, any anything else to yeah, specify? I think one of the very interesting things with the current NOLED series is that all of it is G-mounted. So okay. I mean, you have a very consistent or like more standardized bone mount sort of system, yep. right? The reason why we are pushing for G mount systems is because the output of this is insanely high. You know, yep. the amount of temperatures that you're going to be pushing. Yes, that is very, why it has to be differently ex reconstructed. Exactly. Yep. So the existing bone mount systems do not have the adaptation, the ability to compensate yep. for the amount of heat that comes out of it. Yep. With our G mount system, it has a optical identification, meaning that it will tell the system what sort of adapter is in front of it. Yep. This allows it to you know configure the the options that you have with the eleven uh, stages of cooling, yep. right? So you can really just choose the setting that will fit it the most. Understand. From yesterday, we had this on for about nine hours, yep. and it was really cool to the touch, which was really impressive. Okay. And uh, you know, no issues whatsoever. So basically, if you buy this light, you don't need to buy gloves, lah. Well, I mean, it's always, it's always recommended to have PPE. Of course, definitely. <laughs> safety yeah. first. Of course, safety first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Brian, what do we have here? This seems like a much rather smaller light compared to the no LED. Of course, we have to you know, accommodate to our full market range. This is the SL60 Mark II. Uh, the main difference between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 is that this now has bicolor. You know, bicolor is something that's very more and more important with mixed color lighting. It's very important as a video producer to have as much control on set as possible of your temperature settings. Uh, and that's what we are trying to hope to achieve with the Mark 2 series as well. Uh, the pricing is very competitive. Uh, I think it's about $245. Oh, very affordable. Very affordable. So it's targeted at, you know, not, you wouldn't call it entry level, but you know, as the more discerning, maybe budget focused sort of videographer as well. So you can achieve whatever needs they may have while still not sacrificing on the quality and the performance of the product. Oh, okay. So this is actually very suitable for people who are just starting into videography or already in videography, but you know, you don't want to spend so much, but also can 
use uh, this kind of uh, small and portable light. So yeah, so this retailing at two four five. Two four five. That's correct. Yeah. And you also have a show price, which yes, is. Yes, I think it's uh, currently right now. This current show is selling at one nine six. Oh, one nine six. Yes, correct. One nine six. Not one nine nine. Not one nine eight. Not one nine seven. But one nine. Very specifically, one nine. Yes, That's I correct. know, right? <laughs> okay. So anything else to? Yeah, add? sure. So I mean, some of the other features that you want to take note of is that this is Bowen mounted as well. Yep. I mean, very commonly, if you let's see our videographer starting out, it's always nice to have a universally accepted modifier. So if you have any sort of other flash units, you know, Bowen mounted stuff as well, it's possible to actually just attach it on, use it cost competitively. So like Brian. He is currently a photographer now, yes. trying to also go into <laughs> video. So he probably owns an 8600 Pro. Fantastic device, what, by the way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but so whatever modifiers that you have, you also can also interchangeably use it in the SL Mark II. That's or right. of course, any other Golox product that also is using Bower Mark. Correct. Yes. So I think the main the main important thing is as well is that we do sacrifice a little bit of the portability. That's why we don't say this is outdoor LED, uh, outdoor flash, yep. outdoor light. You know, you have to plug it in directly. Yep. But for many productions, this actually is a benefit. Many people end up buying outdoor kits and then having to get an adapter as well. And then they plug it into a wall regardless. Yeah, I yeah. know, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, again, you know, like I said, this is not something that's supposed to be a cheaper alternative, but a more specific, more niche sort of alternative for the yep. discerning videographer. And again, the important thing is that now it has Bluetooth connection as compared to the first Mark 1 as well. Uh, 2800 uh, to 6500 temperature range. Again, all these sort of settings, it goes up I think about 100 Kelvin each time. So it's very important to have this very fine-tuned adjustments and the ability to really uh, accommodate and set up to any sort of setting that you may have. Yes. But of course, yeah, Godox has also the reputation for selling affordable yep. products. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you so much, Alvin. Yep. Thanks so much. See you. Yeah.